guys, it's Gina here and today I'm going to share with you some of my summer favourites and looking at the stuff I have, it's mostly makeup and accessories so I'm just going to jump straight into it, so let's go! So my first summer favourite is foundation and it's this NARS She Glow in Strong Bolly. I've heard about this almost a year ago, my sister-in-law's friend Edwina, her makeup is on point and I just had to ask what foundation she was using because it was flawless and she was using this and I've also had a lot of great reviews about this so I don't know why I didn't purchase it earlier but I did purchase this just before summer and I have been loving it ever since it is a nice medium coverage that doesn't make your face look unnatural it makes it look natural and it's also blendable and layable as well so when I wear this I don't even have to wear concealer I just grab a little bit more and just you know apply more on any of the dark spots or pimples and it gives a full flawless coverage so I highly recommend this. So this summer I'm all about strobing and highlighting and I'm loving the whole glow look and at the beginning of this summer I was using this palette quite frequently and it's the Sleek Makeup Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette in Fair which looks like this. I've got a few other Sleek products and to be honest I'm not a big fan of them however this one I found the colours worked really well with my skin colour and it gave me a really nice glow as well as using it for contouring as well. However, Sephora opened up their first Melbourne shop at the end of last year so I waited a few weeks for it to die down before I went in and I got this Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighting kit. This is the Shimmering Skin Protector in Champagne Pop and I have heard a lot of good reviews about this so when I saw this in store I just had to try it and it was like, oh, it was like glowing like Edward Cullen. So this is amazing and I've been using this which I'm wearing now um, and I love it so yeah. So the next few things are also from Sephora and the first one is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate which looks like this and this isn't exactly a new product it has been around for a while but since Anastasia has been more accessible in Australia for you know why not just buy it and give it a go and I love it. I do find it though it is extremely creamy and um, dark so a little does go a long way and also when you apply it make sure you apply it light handedly because it does tend to get really dark and yeah so I think this is worth it. it doesn't look like a lot but I think this will last you quite a while as well. So the last of my Sephora favorites are these lip colors and these are the matte ones by Sephora. I don't know why but I've never really looked into Sephora collection. Usually when I go in there I always look at the other brands but I never really look at the Sephora brand ones. Um, but I thought I'll give these a go because matte lipsticks they're always a safe product to get when you try out a new brand but I absolutely love these I don't have to reapply them as much and they last quite a while even while eating like oily food I've only got two colors because there wasn't much of a range in Melbourne so this is in I think it's number 10 and number 9 they don't exactly have names for them but and they're not that bad as well they're about 17 18 dollars so they're quite good but I really love these as well so last of my makeup favorites is this lip balm and this is the EOS egg I think I don't know if it has an exact name to it but I've got a few of the other ones but this one is my favorite by far this is in mint and I love this one because one it smells nice and refreshing but two it kind of tingles a bit on your lips and it feels kind of medicated which some people don't like that but I love it and yeah I find it that this is really hydrating for my lips and it doesn't feel sticky or anything which is really nice and I know I've heard that there's quite a few lawsuits against this one which to me, I haven't had a problem with it, so I think it's maybe just based on individual effects and impacts, but I haven't had a problem and I really like this one. So with skincare, I haven't really changed anything up. The only thing I've added is this product, which is the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil Light. And I got this through Mecca Cosmetics as part of their Beauty Loop box. And before this, I was actually using rose hip oil, which is nice, but the one I was using had a kind of like yellow tinge to it and it kind of smelt a bit. So this one is clear and there's barely any smell, which is really good. So I use this as part of my nighttime routine. So it works as a moisturizer and by the next morning, my skin is feeling super soft. So I actually noticed this literally after the first time using it. So it's definitely something that I will be purchasing in the future. 
So moving on to accessories, I have two sunglasses that I feel like have been on rotation. So the first one is this sunglasses from Key Australia and this is the, I believe it's the My Girl in black and I know these have been around everywhere and a lot of people have these. Um, more people have like the one with the polarized blue but I like these because they're just classic black and sometimes like you just need like a classic pair so these are really good and I've been wanting a pair of cat eye ones as well so I got these through the iconic store online I think I purchased something um, before that which I didn't like so I returned it and got a credit for so I ended up buying these instead so these are really nice because they're really light as well which is really good and the second pair of sunnies that I love are these these are the Ray-Ban Clubmeisters these are the foldable ones in brown tortoise I think which opens up like this which is what well, which is nice I've been wanting a pair of club masters for a while but I have a really round fat face so certain glasses don't suit me so I'm not finding these I wanted like a normal pair but I found these ones instead which is good because it's foldable which means that they're more compact and easy to fit into like smaller bags so I really love this and the fact that it is Quite small and you can just pop that into anywhere so that's really nice so next are three of my favorite pair of shoes this summer and the first one are these which are ugly as F but they are surprisingly quite comfortable so these are the Adidas sliders and I normally wear Havianas religiously but sometimes I feel self-conscious wearing them because quite a lot of times I have actually snapped on my husband I don't know whether it's him on the shoes but yeah, I always get worried when I wear them, but these ones are seriously no fuss, no stress. You just slip them on, slip them off, and yeah, so I really love it. So on days that I feel like dressing up, these have been my go-to, and these are just pointed black flats from Sports Girl with like tie-up things on them, and I was actually looking at the ones from Senso, um, which are really nice, but they're $250, which the price isn't that bad because they're leather. The only thing is, the only problem was that when I tried it on, because I have wide feet it made my feet look like roast pork and even with the size up it didn't feel 100% comfortable I felt like I was going to get a blister by wearing it so I ended up purchasing these instead because these ones were only like $80 I think and they're actually on sale at the moment so you can get that for less plus these ones also had like gold detailing on the heels which are really nice so I saved myself like $170 um, for these ones which are actually at first it took a while to get into because of the toes but they're not bad now so I really like these and so my last shoe favorites I'm super excited about and they are these babies which are the Yeezy Boost 350 in tan this is the Oxford tan and if you're in the sneaker game you know that these are really hard to get because they're very limited in stock they're the collab between Adidas and Kanye West and in Australia, so the places that do stock it, they either do lineups, which people line up for days, it's crazy, or they do raffles. So the Adidas flagship stores do raffles, and that's how I got my hands on these, because I'm a US 5, so I think there's more chances of getting it, because it's not a popular size, so I managed to get these, which I'm so grateful for, because I have a confession to make. I missed out on the first pair of turtle doves because I slept in and let's just say my husband has not let me down ever since he keeps reminding me so this time I went and lucky second time around my number my number got called again so I ended up getting these so yeah I'm really happy that I woke up in time this time so really happy with that so my last summer favourite is this bag and this is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag in black leather. This was a Christmas present slash birthday present from my husband which I absolutely love because it's a perfect size for just every day and I've been using it. It's a bit out of shape because I did take it with me to Bali but yeah, I absolutely love it. So that is all of my summer favourites. Let me know what your favourites are this season, whether you're in summer or winter. And I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.